An escape room. But today I'm gonna try to attempt to make an escape room. But I'm gonna try to get done. So I'm gonna use my brother's room to make the escape room. Hopefully it's really dope because if it's not dope, then this was a waste of time and then I had to put everything back to where it was. So basically I went on Pinterest and I searched up a few like ideas for like escape rooms and how I can like set it all up. I'm gonna need a theme. I've been to an escape room before and so I get the gist of how it works. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a lock that will like unlock to something obviously and then for the next thing I might do this you know on TikTok where they have like written notes on on a paper towel and you put it in water and it shows a message I'm gonna try to do that next I'm gonna have like a secret deco decoder thing I'm probably gonna have like numbers and then have them use this paint this image oh my god you can't even see it you can't even see it. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna do that. The next plan is to have like a balloon type of thing. So it's gonna say like pop me and when they pop it, it will show like a clue. We're gonna figure that this out together, okay? So it's not all planned. I almost, I also might do this, something with like the keys to open up something. You have to like look for a certain key to unlock like a safe. There's another one with like scissors and a lock or something with like a deck of cards. I might create like a little puzzle so they have to like put it together and it will say a message. There's this one, I don't know how to explain this one, but basically they'll find clues with letters and numbers and match them up to create another number or, or a word. And then this one is like a math decoder thing, I don't know, but we're gonna see. That's all of the pins I have, so we're gonna first try to make this room as aesthetic as possible. I have these disco balls so they should light up so we're gonna test it out right now and see if it actually will work let's get started okay yeah mm -hmm. I got it oh <gasps> whoa okay. whoa ch I didn't know what I was talking about. okay maybe I'm right here. I don't know whoa whoa I'm kind of shook I'm gonna turn on the light and see what happens. <gasps> it's so hard to see, but like, look how cool that is. I'm shook, I'm shook. I have this other one here. I don't know if it lights up, because it is, oh, oh my God, it does. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, holy crap, why am I nervous? Okay, I got it. Okay, hi. <laughs> okay, tell me if it lights up, okay? Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, it's white. What do I do? <laughs> um, but I also have these light bulbs that change color as well, so I could put them in the other ones. We'll put these in. Okay, I got it. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work, so I'm gonna put the other one in on the other side. It's literally so hot. I can't handle it. Okay, I'll I'll put that one in and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm put, I put them in, so I'll show you what they look like. First of all, do you want me to show you the floor? Cause like, look how dope this is. I can like switch the color. And this one's still white. I tried to adjust it, but it's not quite working. Now I'm gonna look for some glow sticks. Let's have this large box of art supplies and I'm gonna go search for it, so. Glow sticks. Yay! Clear. Oh! Oh, what's that? Oh! And I found some other things in here that I could use, such. Okay, I'm back downstairs. Um, I'm not gonna make any, like, decisions yet. I'm gonna get everything that I don't need out of the room, and then I'll see what I can work with. So, enjoy this time lapse. Probably gonna take that down and that down. Now I'm gonna try to figure out what theme I'm gonna do. I think the theme I'm gonna do is related to like the movie Saw. So I'm gonna use the mirror, or not mirror. I'm gonna use a TV that's over here and have like a recording of me in the disguise using like the Santa mask. 
like this. And I'm gonna wear like shades with it. And I think the theme will be like a rave party. Since I have like the colored lights for it, uh, that's gonna be my idea. So it's gonna be saw rave party. Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay, sorry, I'm going crazy. If it's a little too dark in here, I, I'm gonna get more of these like, Christmas lights because they, act, they actually light up. So that could be pretty like creative to like hang it up and stuff. That would be kind of cute. Um, and it would look more like a party, I, I guess. So I'm gonna go up to my attic, very scary, and I'm gonna grab more of these lights. Hopefully there's more, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going up to the attic now. Wishing luck. Hopefully I won't fall. But if I do fall, I have a video of it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'm looking on the inside light. Oh my god, it's so hot in here. Okay, I need streamers. Probably use a. I'll do. The door. The door. Yeah. First of all, should I do red to show that it's like murder and it's bloody and stuff? Ah! I don't know, I'm making stuff up. No one else is here, so I'm just talking to myself. Let's turn off the light. Boring. So boring. Sorry, I blinked out for a second. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna make these. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm so indecisive. Here, be my kid. Hi, so update. I've been working it looks like I've done nothing, you know what I mean? So, I basically took out, I did the letters, and I'm really tired, um, I'm eating some bread. So I put the streamers up, it's very sad. Ah! I'm gonna add some more, it's kinda of scary too, but I'm gonna add more streamers so I can look that flat. The whole vibe in here looks sad, except for like the this stuff. Hey guys, welcome back to day two. So for day two, I'm actually gonna plan out what I'm gonna do for the escape room. So I'm gonna, I have a bunch of keys that I'm gonna use to unlock certain things. So I have one key here that will unlock to this journal and in this journal we'll probably have a clue. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So the key's in there already. I'll pump it for you, as you can see it. Imagine this pops and then the, the key just sticks in my eye. Just gotta stick it in there, hopefully it doesn't pop. And there.
Okay guys, so I'm done pumping the balloons and I put them in this briefcase with a key inside. So they have to find it in the balloons. My next plan for this escape room is to get a puzzle, but I'm going to use that puzzle to an arrow, arrow to where the next clue is. Hi, so it's like day three, but I mean I did skip a few days. But currently, I am going to clean out all the stuff that's in the drawers of the desk. So enjoy this time lapse. You know how I took out the stuff over here, right there? Um, I put it in the gym. Well, I put it back. Yeah! That was kind of a waste, but um, I just put a tarp over it, so like it's not part of the whole escape room. There is this stuff over here, like the blankets and the pillows that I'm probably gonna put like upstairs at least, so it's just like hidden. For that thing right there, I gotta put that away too because that's. It's, it seems like it's really in the way. Basically just have to finish up everything in here. But what my brothers and parents don't know is that there's going to be a second room that they have to escape from. The one dilemma I have right now is that I have videos of like my dog talking, saying like they're, they're like challenges and like if they need a clue, but the Wi-Fi is so bad in here that it's really slow. So I'm going to try to finish everything by today because if I really just focus and do it, I can do it. So, and I'm almost done. Like, I'm really close to being done. I just have to really think on where I'm going to put things and what, like, riddles or what hints I'm going to give them to find like certain objects and stuff so so i finally finished my escape room i'm very excited i put a lot of work and effort into it it took about four days to do and i hope it's not too easy and i hope it's not too hard because i really try to make it easy enough to like get through and make it like understandable but also I wanted to make it a little bit challenging so they would have to actually think about um, where like a certain object would be. And yeah, I hope they really like it. Now I'm gonna have to put everything away after they do the escape room, but I'm very proud of myself. But yeah, okay. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.